Wow. What a f I just shoot that man. What a f I just shoot that man like that, bro. What a f just shoot him. You ain't had to kill. He dead, bro. What a f shoot that. What a f shoot him that many times. Why the f I shoot him? Bro, why the f did I just shoot him? Y'all, that's why we don't like the police. You bogus. Why the f shoot that? It's so traumatic. Sacked seven times in his back while his children were sitting in the damn car. These officers is hand I'm like, shoot me. My kids is in the car. We're just shooting them with the kids in the back screaming. Overnight fires and looting gave way to marching. Black Lives Matter! By day, protesters filled the streets of Kenosha, now lined by boarded up businesses in the name of Jacob Blake. Once again, a local mayor struggles to answer for the police shooting of a black man. The whole entire process, the system is completely corrupt. The shooting captured on mobile phone is difficult to watch. Jacob Blake, apparently unarmed, walks around his SUV, his three children unseen inside, seeming to ignore the police following behind. At the door, an officer grabs him by the shirt, his back to police. Police fire seven shots. The shooting set off a night of protests in the streets. The city blocking roads with garbage trucks. Demonstrators set them on fire. Leaving behind charred chassis, including a neighboring car lot, and a message on a courthouse wall. And let me be clear, this was not an accident. This wasn't bad police work. This felt like some sort of vendetta uh, being taken out on a member of our community. The officer's deadly actions attempted to take a person's life in broad daylight. The shooting drew condemnation from presidential candidate Joe Biden, who issued a statement saying, the nation wakes up yet again with grief and outrage that yet another black American is a victim of excessive force. These shots pierce the soul of our nation. Blake survived and is in stable condition. Toshevsky's attorney, in a statement, insists that, quote, race had absolutely nothing to do with the officer's actions. Blake was given every opportunity to comply with the officers, and he repeatedly chose not to. I was counting down the breaths. I was awoke the whole time. Mom! It was the moment Jacob Blake thought he was about to die. I was counting down my breaths and my blinks because I was just staring right at the sky watching the clouds. I was just like, God, I'm coming. I guess this is it for me, but it wasn't. The 29-year-old speaking out for the first time almost five months after being shot seven times by police. You didn't resist. I resisted to getting beat on. What I mean by that is not falling, not letting them put their head on my neck. That's all I was thinking, honestly. Blake is now partially paralyzed from the waist down. A moment captured by bystanders eventually going viral. The encounter, marking the climax of a summer rocked by a reckoning. Say her name. Protesters adding the name Jacob Blake to their rallying cry, joining those of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor. With calls for action echoing across America, from celebrities to athletes. We are scared as black people. Activists demanding justice for the ever-growing list of black victims shot by police. I didn't want to be the next George Floyd. I didn't want to die. In the moments before, on a hot summer day in Kenosha, Wisconsin, Blake had been celebrating his son Israel's birthday at the home of his son's mother, LaQuisha Booker. He turned eight years old that day. I'm cooking, just chilling, neighbors out, and um, ended up being an argument between my woman and the neighbor. I wanted to leave. Booker didn't want him to leave with her rental car 
and called the police. Today is his son's birthday, so I'll allow him to spend a couple hours with him, but he's not giving me the keys to this rental, and that's all I'm asking for. Three officers responded to what they thought was, quote, family trouble. Among them, seven-year veteran officer Rustin Shesky. Complaint says Jacob Blake isn't supposed to be there, and he took the complainant's keys and refused, is refusing to get them back. Well, she decided that she didn't want me to take her car, the rental car. And I'm like, I'm explaining to her, like, you know, my truck is in the shop. So I decided not to give her the keys. It was in her name. What's going through your mind? My babies are right here, my babies. So after he stopped shooting me, I said, Daddy, love you, no matter what. It was the last thing I said to them at that point. I thought it was going to be the last. <clears throat> I thought it was going to be the last thing I say to them. Thank God it wasn't. Blake and his attorney said he planned to file a civil suit against the Kenosha Police Department. Almost five months after the incident, Blake says he is now focusing on healing. Unfortunately, I need help all day. My mom, she's helping me get in and out of the bed. She helps me do a lot of stuff. It's changed 100%. And we know your kids who are in the car. Have you had any conversations with them about this since it all happened? When they seen me, they couldn't believe I was alive. My eight-year-old was just staring at me, you know. I've explained to him and broke it down to him, like, Daddy can die, but for some reason I didn't that day. No Kenosha law enforcement officer in this case will be charged with any criminal offense. This disturbing video of the incident back on August 23rd sparked days of protest. On video shows 29-year-old Blake struggling with Officer Rustin Shesky and another officer. Both deployed their tasers, but they were unsuccessful. As Blake appears to lean into the driver's side of the car, Shesky opens fire. Blake's three young boys in the back seat, but not injured. On Tuesday, the prosecutor saying Blake was armed and that officers thought he was trying to kidnap the children. They say Blake admitted he had a knife, but told investigators he never intended to stab the officer. Blake, who was paralyzed in the shooting this morning, is still recovering. His family frustrated with the prosecutor's decision to not press charges. We, the Blake family, are asking this city, this county, this state, and this nation to rise up in a non-violent civic uprising to let our friends and family know there's a new sheriff in town. And the teenager who is accused of killing two people during protests here last summer, Kyle Rittenhouse, was arraigned in court. He pleaded not guilty to all charges. And I hope the fire department comes out here and does what it can to make sure this doesn't spread to this church.
Another car in the background over there. I mean, this is full on madness. Like, they broke out all the windows on the school. They've been, there's a dumpster fire back over there. Oh, that's gunshots over there. Oh, look at, by the way, they yeah, sure broken side, just windows and businesses for all hey, the way class, back to the car. Um, hey, Katie, can you have water? Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm going to the gas station. I wanted to see the fire department do work. For two blocks, all the way to the car, all the buildings, all the buildings are shattered. They're all shattered. Images of cars burning to a crisp. Kenosha's requested box 53-01. One's livelihood lost in a flash. His flames seemingly wicked from one place to another last Monday night into Tuesday morning. As the light from the fires waned, sunlight gave way to the smoldering wreckage left. Entire blocks nearly leveled. These pictures show a tense standoff between protesters and members of the public, militia style, guarding a petrol station. Voices calling for justice grew louder. The city of Kenosha enraged. By day, peaceful demonstrations calling for the officers to be held accountable. This country is kind of like a box of matches right now, and we're just the match that got lit. By night, parts of the city brought down in flames. The riot is turning deadly when armed vigilantes clash with protesters. We're protecting from the citizens, and I just got pepper sprayed by a person in the crowd. During the unrest, Kyle Rittenhouse, who was 17 at the time, shot three people. Two later died. He was arrested the next day and charged with multiple counts of homicide. They are comparing the treatment of Rittenhouse's arrest with Blake's. 17-year-old Kyle Rittenhouse. He um, is accused of killing two people at a uh, protest over your case. And he walks past cops. He has an assault rifle. Have you seen that video? Mm -hmm. Yes. When you see that, what is your thoughts when you see something like that happen? Again, it wasn't a surprise to me. It was devastating. I mean... Say it. <laughs> he's white. That's the difference. There are two justice systems that govern America, one for black America and one for white America, which says, well, black people shoot first, ask questions later.